Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie channel. Hello everyone. We have our new lesson in Science 8 which is all about Patterns of Inheritance. This will be the first quarter topic, week 4 and day 3, and this lesson is under the Matatag curriculum. For the objectives, by the end of the lesson, 80% of the learners will be able to First is to analyze each given scenario by using the Punnett square method, determine the genotypic and the phenotypic ratios of the offspring. The second one is to solve heredity problems using monohybrid and hybrid crosses. And the third one is to appreciate the significance of heredity in shaping an individual's physical and psychological characteristics by answering the guide questions. For the work example, let the students accomplish the activity 4.3, which is the patterns of inheritance. So assign groups to present their work in class and check students' answers. For the procedure, read and analyze each scenario carefully. Use the Punnett square method to determine the genotypic and the phenotypic ratios of the offspring. So answer the questions based on your calculations and understanding of monohybrid crosses. The first scenario is the flower color in the pea plants. In pea plants, flower color is determined by a single gene with two alleles, purple and white. The purple flowers are dominant over white flowers. A pea plant with heterozygous purple flower was crosses with another pea plant with homozygous white flower. First question, what are the genotypes of P1 and P2? For the second question, complete the Punnett square to determine the genotypic and the phenotypic ratios of the offspring. For the third question, what is the probability of the offspring having purple flowers and what about the white flowers? For the second scenario is the seed shape in the pea plants. So seed shape in the pea plants is determined by the single gene with two alleles, the round and the wrinkled. Round seeds are dominant over wrinkled seeds. A homozygous dominant for seed shape which is round and a heterozygous for seed shape were cross. For the first question, what are the genotypes of P1 and P2? The second one is to complete the Punnett square to determine the genotypic and the phenotypic ratios of the offspring. And for the third one, what is the probability of the offspring having round seeds? And what about the wrinkle seeds? For the third scenario is the coat color and tail length in dogs. So in dogs, coat color and tail lengths are determined by two separate genes. Coat color is controlled by the B gene where B represents the dominant allele for black coat color and B represents the recessive allele for brown coat color. Tail length is controlled by T gene where T represents the dominant allele for long tails and T represent the recessive allele for the short tails. Parent 1 is heterozygous for both coat color and the tail length exhibiting black color and long tail. Parent 2 is homozygous recessive for both traits and displaying brown color and short tail. For the first question, what are the possible gametes produced by each parent? 
The second one is to complete the Punnett square to determine the genotypic and the phenotypic ratios of the offspring. For the third question, what is the probability of the offspring having black coat color and long tail? What about the brown coat color and the short tail? For the fourth scenario is the seed color and the seed shape in the pea plants. In pea plants, seed color and shape are controlled by two separate genes. Seed color is determined by the Y gene where Y represents the dominant allele for yellow seed while the small Y represents the recessive allele for green seeds. Seed shape is controlled by the S gene where capital S represents the dominant allele for smooth seed and small s represent the recessive allele for wrinkled. Parent 1 is homozygous dominant for seed color which is capital Y and Y and heterozygous for seed shape is capital S and small s producing yellow smooth seeds. Parent 2 is the heterozygous for seed color which is capital Y and small y, and homozygous recessive for seed shape which is small s and s, yielding green wrinkled seed. For question number one, what are the possible gametes produced by each parent? The second one is to use a Punnett square to determine the genotypic and the phenotypic ratios of the offspring. For the third question, what is the probability of the offspring having yellow smooth seeds and what about the green wrinkle seeds?